Yeah, how's it guys? Uh, so yeah, this is my entry into the last Assassin Isolation games um, for the lockdown, I guess. Um, yeah, basically what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how, or what I do is make an uh, Aki bait and I'll basically throw all year round, uh, whether it be for a smooth hound or a cow shark or paley or spionos, um, specifically for in Simonstown. Um, there's not often uh, the smaller fish there, like your smooth out and stuff, we do pick up the odd one. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not very common. I mean, in the last two years, I think we've only caught two. Uh, but I mean, they are there. Um, so usually my go-to bait would be a, a big yellowtail bait. But I don't have any yellowtail now, so this is basically like a second best thing. Um, just for, for like an all-rounder, basically. Um, See, so yeah, this is literally a bait that I'll throw for anything from 20 kilos to 200 kilo uh, black pennies. Um, See, so yeah, basically, what I'm going to be using is just this dangle. Uh, I just put a little piece of foam on. Um, yeah, it's a soft wide angle. And then I've got a chassis with a 10 of BKK on it. Um, and then, yeah, it's your cotton, your knife, and hammer. Um, and then, of course, your oxygen. Um, so when I start off, I don't put my hook through my dangle yet. Um, still just go and let it defrost, and when it's defrosted, it will come back. It's recording. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically just got the Aki kind of apart here. Um, I've already used one of the legs. I used it when I caught it and tried to catch a cob. Yum. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to take two legs off, um, two bigger legs, and then one smaller one. Um, that looks nice. back in there just for now um yeah okay so what i'm gonna start off by doing i'm just gonna try and defrost them a little bit um yeah so i just got this this smaller leg uh this i'm basically just gonna be using um to put up the bed uh so this will go up my trace kind of i guess um so yeah, I'm not going to take too much of the skin off now, because my mom will kill me if I get baited all over the ground. So yeah, basically just going to put the, the part that I beat down the, uh, the back of the bed. So uh, it hangs like that, so the hook will go through there, and this will go up my chairs. I'm just going to put a bit of cotton over that. And I don't have to put too much on there right from the start, because it'll um, get tighter as we build the bait bigger. Okay. So I'm just going to take the second leg. Um... Now, for what I'm gonna do with the legs, you can also do with the. Uh... Hey, move, go, Axel, move, move, come, move. These dogs are getting so bored; they need to go to the beach or something. If anyone's got a license to go out? Can I use it, please? I need to go fishing. <laughs> um. So yeah. Anyways. So there's the. I'm, just gonna, I'm trying to get the skin loose, but it's so like all over the place. Um, so basically, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna. I should have actually done it before. Measured the the hockey, and then I cut it down the middle. And this I'm basically just gonna be wrapping around my. Um, Wrapping around my bed just to build it up a bit. 
We just take that. I like using the bigger side of the chuck hammer. Just gonna try and push a bit. Um, so I should probably explain why I like throwing this bait. Um, so Simon, so if you haven't fished there before, there's a lot of crabs and stuff, and you can have a bait in the water for 25 minutes, and it'll be gone. This, the crabs get so thick there. So I, I just like to throw something that stays in the, in the water for a little bit longer. Um, usually Oki, with a little bit of float, it, sometimes it keeps it off the bottom. Um, not always, <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it all depends on how much float you put in it and how big the bait is. Um, so yeah, I just like to throw it because the the crabs have a bit more trouble trying to get it off than yellowtail, for example. Uh, usually with yellowtail, you have to throw the the head with a few cutlets and stuff to try and keep it in the water for a bit longer. Um, so yeah, second. Second one, we're just gonna, as far as we can, split it and beat that part. Um, and then, oh, I'm gonna cut my fingers open. Here. And then the rest of it will do the same as the first one. Go up the. Is this one recording? Yeah, go up the bed. Um. Beat it too much. Um, it's small like this and it's gonna be used as a as a tentacle because I like to do um be a bit tougher. Uh yeah a lot of guys also throw these baits for um for duck ball um up on the in Southern Cape. Uh yeah not a bad bait for those either. Um, yeah, okay, so now our last leg. What I'm basically just going to do is I'm going to beat the whole thing and then I'm going to wrap it around. I might add another leg. I like throwing a big bait. With a slightly small bait, special bait, and a 7 ounce sinker. Let's see what happens. So I don't think this is going to be big enough. Um, but yeah, basically wish it as much as possible now. Um, and the sucker's on. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Stuff so cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically then I'm just gonna start at the bottom with the thicker side. Try cutting it on there. Nope. Okay. Are you barking at me? <laughs> um so yeah, I'm basically just wrap it around. Okay, I'm gonna have to add another tentacle. Sliding down. Hey, shush. Um, so yeah, I should probably say, for these black greys that we target in Simon's Town, the bigger your bait, the better. I'll be honest, distance isn't a huge problem there. Um, and if you can get a big bait, 40, 50 meters you in the zone, the fish from shallow, there's some on, onto that bank. There's not too much swell there. Um, just gonna try to get it as big as possible. Add another leg. I feel like adding another leg. How much time? We 10 minutes already. Really 
Um, so I'm just gonna put one off. I've got a big chunk here. You can see that's just the head of the Oki. So we're gonna defrost that a bit. Okay, same thing as the last one. on one side uh, just to try to get it flat and not too worried about how hard it is. Just going to add it on there. Okay, I'm just going to try to wrap it a bit more. Get that lid on. Okay, so I'm going to put the hook through now, um, just that I can start holding that because it's getting a bit big and now it's slippery. Okay, another leg. It's like the something in the gut. Literally, guys, anything in Oki you can use. Uh, like, so I'm just gonna Axel, stop, go on, drink that. I think this is the head. Yeah. This is the head, or piece of it, at least. Okay, this piece I would usually take the. Okay, it's gonna come off now. The skin off. Hopefully, it's gonna come off. There we go. Off. Okay. Beat that again. So I'm gonna try the sun's in my eyes might be looking kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, basically same thing, just wrap it around and we're basically just trying to get the bait big. I'm not worried about how it looks too much. Um, I'm just trying to get it bigger. So the last of it. There's your bed. It's a nice big Oki bed. It'll throw nicely, it's nice and streamlined. Um, I'll put some pictures on the see the light's not too good here. Um, yeah, I'll just show you how it clips quickly. Um, oh. Yeah, so, just got my... Okay, so it should sit like that with your sinker, nice and streamlined. Um, you know, you can make it bigger if you really want to, but I mean, that should be fine. Um, got two tentacles, they're not huge, but I mean, it just adds a little bit of movement. Um, yeah, I'm sure 
a bronzy would pick this up as well if you had to throw it in basically anywhere higher up in South Africa you would pick up um, duckies on it um, so yeah that's basically my hockey bed um, yeah cool thanks guys um, I hope that that helped a little bit I'm sure we're gonna see a few more uh, maybe fish baits and edible baits um, yeah just like the video share it a bit um, and yeah good luck to the winner